Hi, this is Glenn Lipscomb, and we're going to be doing a teardown of the packaging that was used to ship this Roku media player. What we're going to do is look at all the different pieces of the package, and then also think about ways that we could reduce the amount of packaging material that went into it, and thereby reduce the amount of waste that's produced from shipping and buying it. So I'm going to look at this just overall before we begin. There's a piece of uh, cardboard box. That's the main component here from the outside at least. It, with this box there's a little window that's been cut out for you to see the Roku player inside there. I'm not sure that's actually needed but obviously some marketing person decided that this was important so that you could actually see the product inside here that would help sell it when it's on the shelf. If we look at the top there's this little plastic tab right here. I'll turn this so you can hopefully see it. This little plastic tab right here is meant to allow you to put it onto a hook when displaying it in a store, such as Best Buy. If you look carefully on the edge right here, there's a little piece of plastic or tape that's used to seal the top to the, the body of the box. So this is a lid that would come up and it's sealed to the body with that piece of tape. There's also one down here on the bottom to seal the, the bottom edge of the box to the main body of the box. So this is a flap that would come up. Also on the very bottom, there is a piece that you can peel off. There's a tag right here that has a serial number for the Roku player. This particular thing was added after the box was made, and actually the, the product was put in there, I believe. And what it does, it, it contains information that's needed to register it. But it is a separate item. And so now, let's go through, after we've looked at all these pieces here, tabulate them one more time. We'll go through and tabulate them. We have this little plastic tab. We have a little plastic window. We have two pieces of tape, one here and one here. We have this little marker down here, this little piece of uh, tape, of sticker that's been placed on here with the information about the serial number. And we actually have the box then itself. So let's go ahead and open it up. The very first thing I want to do is take these plastic this tape off here that allow us to open up the ends of the box. Probably the easiest way would be to take a knife and do it, but I wanted to try to save it if I can. Turns out it's quite a challenge, but I think I finally got a start on it. Here we go. So I'm going to pull that off, and I'm going to take this little piece, and I'm going to put it right over here as we type things apart. Take the one off the top as well. And I will get to that here. That's coming off right now. There we go. There's a second one of those. Put that right there. So it looks like it's still going to be in view on top of our ping pong table. Now I think I'm able to open the box up. I'll take the top lid, take that off. There we go. I'm actually going to pull off this little plastic piece here that allows it to be hung from a rod. There's that little plastic piece. I'll put that over here as well. So the top is open. I'm going to open up the bottom as well. So now the box is completely open. And I'm going to take off this little sticker here as well that has the information on it. So I can put it over here as another component of the packaging here. Actually, it's not going to come off. This is a Roku player that I received from Hulu as a being a subscriber to Hulu. And I do want to register it so I can use it, so I'm not going to completely take that off. What I probably will do instead, I'm just going to rip that off here so I, I can save the information and just put that over here so you can see it as well. Okay, so we have the box open. Let's go ahead and pull out what's inside. So I'm going to push it out through this end here. So it comes out. Oh, looks like we've got some other stuff in here that may not be necessary. For instance, here's a piece of cardboard as well, of thick paper. And inside here are cables. So this is a cable for a power cable right here, a USB cable. And then over here we have, it looks like an HDMI cable for connecting it to your TV. So what we have right now here, let me go ahead and pull this back, is we have this piece of cardboard here which has a sticker on it as well, another sticker on here. 
well, actually it's not a sticker, it's been printed on there, which is something that you would prefer to do, is to directly print it instead of putting it on a sticker, which has a barcode. So I'll put this over here with that. I got the box, I'll put the box over here, but I'm also in the box, I'm gonna take out that little plastic window that we have here. See if I can pull it out of here so we can see that as well. There it goes. And just have it out. It's in there pretty good. So there's that little plastic window. I'll put that right here. This rest of the box over here, it's been totally mangled. And let's go back to what's left here. We have the HDMI cable. It has a little plastic sleeve on it. I'll pull that plastic sleeve off. Put that over here. We look at the caps. There's caps on the ends of the HDMI cable. Pull those off. Those are plastic as well. And put those both over here. Those two plastic things there. This is the actual product that we're interested in. All this other stuff you see here is something we're going to be end up throwing away or attempting to recycle if we can. But I'll put that piece there. This here does not have caps on the end, which is good. Nothing to throw away. And it also has a little band right here that's used to hold it together. And this is a band that I'm not going to throw away. It's there so that if I ever take the cable off and I want to store it, I can wrap it up and that will keep it nice and compact. So I'll put that right here. Two products that we have out of the box so far. Now let's open up the rest of it that has the Roku player in it. We have instructions which are nicely packaged inside some plastic. I'll open up that plastic and pull out the instructions. There's multiple pieces of paper in here. So that this is actually part of the product as well. Oh, there's a Roku sticker that I can say, I love Roku. I can put that on my computer or something. I'm gonna put that right here. And then this plastic packaging material, which has another sticker on it right here, indicating with a barcode, indicating the product ID. I'll go and put that right over here. Actually, to keep on moving things out because I'm running out of space here. So I'll move, keep on moving stuff out of here. Put the products, move those back here. Actually, this will be easier to see if I move these things in front like that. Okay, so now we're close to getting the Roku out. This is a plastic case for it, a holder. I'm gonna pop out the Roku remote control. Pop out the actual Roku device. Pop out a plug to unplug the Roku in. This is a converter to take the electrical outlet and produce a HDM or a, a USB power source. I have a couple batteries here. And then in the bottom of this box, there's also something like that Roku sticker. I'm not quite sure what this is used for, what I would do with this other than maybe put it on the device to identify it. I don't know, that I'm not familiar with. So I'll put that right there. Let me move everything back a little bit so we can see what we have here. And then here's this plastic case that I'm gonna put over here. We're still not done with taking away the packaging material. So if I look at the Roku remote, they have put a little piece of plastic over the end that sends the IR signal to protect it during shipment. Take that little piece of plastic off and I'll stick it over here. The batteries here, I've been wrapped in plastic. I'll take that plastic off, <clears throat> remove the batteries from it. Put that little bit of plastic over here. The plug for plugging in for power. Looks like it doesn't have any plastic wrapped on it. Often they do to protect the outside, the finish on it, but that one doesn't appear to. And then here's the actual device. Has some instructions on it for where I should point the remote on this little piece of plastic right here. I'm gonna pull that off. Looks like that's the only piece of plastic on there. I'll put that over here as well. I think we actually have this thing completely removed and everything taken out. From here over is what was purchased, or in this case, Hulu was kind enough to provide it to me. Took a portion of what I paid per month and devoted it to buying a Roku for me. And over here is all the packaging that was 
plate that in which this product was uh, placed and shipped and from which I would hopefully make a decision to purchase if I was going to the store to do so. So let's look at uh, all the, the stuff here and try to quantify it in terms of the packaging what we have. We have from here up plastic of one sort over or another so this is most likely polystyrene right here. These other plastic items here I'm not quite sure what they are made of but maybe a polyethylene most likely. Uh, we have the plastic caps that were on the ends of the HDMI cable. And a lot of plastic here, the plastic window, go back to that. The plastic that went into making this little sticker that goes here has some paper on it as well. And on this back end here, we have the actual cardboard. We have the main box. And we have this particular holder in which the cables were placed, these two cables were placed. So how could we reduce the amount of packaging that went into shipping and selling this this product here. Well, I think there's many ways we could do it. First of all, having this window embedded or glued to this cardboard package makes it more difficult to reuse this, recycle this. What we'd love to have is just the cardboard by itself without anything else in there, just paper. Having this in there will complicate the recycling. It's really not necessary from a packaging point of view. This is used for marketing. So a customer that was thinking about buying one of these Roku's at the store could see the product and get excited about buying it just from the looks of it. This would be easily recycled, um, but do we need it? We definitely need the box to put everything in, but do we need this? Why couldn't the cables be put in there loose? My guess is, is that putting them in here prevents them from being jostled around and potentially scratching up the product that you have here. Is there another way to do this? Huh? Perhaps. Maybe we don't have to use the cardboard, but the cardboard, if we do use it, is something that could be recycled. Let's look at the plastic, all the plastic here. We do have a plastic case container in which all the products are placed. This is probably most likely necessary. Or if we didn't use this plastic case, what if we were to use something, we could wrap these in a bubble wrap or come up with another creative way. Or if we're stuck with using a case, maybe we can make the case a little bit thinner. This thing is pretty rigid. I don't know if it needs to be so rigid, to be so thick in order to protect the, the product, especially the, given that it's inside the cardboard here. That's maybe another way we could reduce the amount of plastic. We already talked about why we could get rid of this. This little sticker here that was placed on the box itself, that may not be actually necessary either. That's something that could be placed on the remote, perhaps. Why not put that right here on the remote? Because this will complicate recycling the box. Why not put that information on the re receiver? There's a couple different ways to think about doing that, which would eliminate it being on the box, which would complicate recycling. All the plastic that went in covering and protecting, we have several piece, pieces here. These pieces here, remember, were used to cover up and protect. The one was used to protect the surface of the Roku, where the signal is received. The other was to protect the remote, where the signal is sent. Um, those might be necessary in order to prevent them from being these, these pieces from being scratched during shipment. But is there another way? Could we use a piece of cardboard? Maybe we design a box, perhaps a cardboard container like this, in which you, the, these devices were placed and would keep them from being scratched. Something to consider. We also had this little plastic piece here, which will allow it to be hung up in a store. Do we really need that? Why can't we just put these things on a shelf? Finally, we have these caps for covering up the HDMI ends. Well, I don't know, who, who uses those once we take these off? We put these cables into a, a box or into a drawer, and when we're not using them, we pull them back out. I don't know anybody that uses them after they get a brand new cable. The other thing to note is that this cable didn't have them on at all. So why protect the HDMI cable and not pr protect the USB cable. This is an adapter from this other U one USB connection to another. There was plastic also for the batteries. Now the batteries could have been shipped loose in there. I don't see any reason why I couldn't have done that. Um, and these, this particular object didn't have any other additional, the, the plug didn't have any additional packaging on it, which is, which is good. Let me come back to this little thing right here, which I have, I'm not really sure what, what it's used for. I'll have to actually have to look this up and see um, 
what's supposed to be part of it, maybe to be attached to here. I have to read the instructions, which are right here. Um, well, anyway, this gives you an idea of the packaging goes into this, and if we were to focus on how to reduce the packaging, we covered a number of different things to reduce the amount of packaging as well as to reduce or improve the ability to recycle it. So let's go back over it one more time. This box right here is made of cardboard and something that could be readily recycled if we did not have that window in here. One way to reduce the amount of the box would maybe to make it thinner. Something I wanted to mention is that this has a certain thickness, and if we reduce the thickness by 10%, perhaps, or by some other amount, we would be able to save material. Same thing's true with this particular holder here. This is actually very rigid and, and solid. I'm not sure it needs to be as thick as that. Whether we use plastic to enclose the manuals, I don't know if that's actually necessary. Why could, they couldn't be put in there loose? I'm not sure why. Why couldn't we make this thing out of cardboard or perhaps make it thinner, use less material in it? We talked about the plastics here that were used in the other components. So with that, this is an example of a breakdown that I'd like for you to do for your class project is to take a product. For instance, it could be perhaps from your pantry, some breadsticks, and go through and look at all the different pieces that are inside there that were used to package the material, in this case, the breadsticks. I also brought out from our pantry some Godiva lava, molten lava cake mix. So and just to give you an idea of what you might find inside one of these things to look for is that on the outside of this, we don't have any of the other stuff that we saw in the Roku. There's no windows. There's no plas plastic pieces extending out. There's no stickers that were placed on the outside here. It's just a cardboard box, which will make this very easy to recycle. If I open this up, there's a little pull tab here to do that. Didn't do a good job of taking that pull tab off, but when I open it up on the inside here, this is the product itself. Now this is where there's a lot of things that we can possibly talk about in terms of additional packaging, the plastic that went around individually packaged quantities of, of breadsticks. So how could we reduce the amount of material that went into making this particular package and the other parts that are inside here, as well as uh, making it more recyclable, making it easier to do so. I'll put this back. I might have some of these tonight. And with that, it ends our packaging teardown.